All right, guys, today we've got another video from the Aiden Ross live boxing event. We covered one of these fights last week, and you guys seem to like it. And the reason why I'm interested in covering these events is to show the dangers of what can happen and everything that can go wrong when you put on sparring live streams like this. At the end of the day, it's not really a sparring live stream. It's a street fight with gloves on, which, of course, everyone wants to see. People don't want to see a light, friendly spar. Everyone wants to see two people going at it, trying to take each other's heads off. Also, for those who haven't seen yet my dubai vlog is finally up it took a few weeks but we got there eventually so go and watch that there's a little bit of kickboxing footage in there of myself it's not really the best representation of myself as well because i'm incredibly uncoordinated extremely out of shape and it's a bit of a reality check for me to be honest but here's the thing i am finally going back to kickboxing tonight if you don't believe me i've got my shorts on ready to go i'm fed up of being out of shape i'm fed up of being sick with man boobs it's time to get good again okay so aiden ross hosted this fight and it was between these two influencers i assume they are called cuffham and snags with a name like cuffham you know this isn't going to be a clean fight first off let's take a look at cuffham's walkout uh, oh. oh my lord what the <laughs> Came out the freaking glass door. Ew! Oh my god. And that's my Montclair. That's focus with the freaking. Freak ass you better be nice to that Montclair. Michelin man jacket, too. That's, that's my crazy. Couple. That's oh, my Montclair. Hell. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's what down one get? round to the rope. Bro! Jesus you're gonna break Christ. my bro. They almost hit the ground. You gotta shit. conserve that energy, though. I'm gonna be honest. I think this fight is actually 50 50. I mean, I've seen Cuff him when he's mad, he gets really mad and zones out. And he starts throwing a lot so of punches. So he's like an icy red, bro? So clearly, he's an intense guy. You know, if you've seen this guy walking up to you in the streets with all this face paint on, you're definitely going to be scared. You're going to be like, oh, damn, this guy's confident. He knows what he's doing. Very athletic. <laughs> He's got them natural black genetics. Oh, he can't get in a ring, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, he most likely did use 30% of his energy doing that jump. He's a big guy. But I wanted to use this little moment as an example. The looks can be deceiving. Someone can look extremely scary, but be completely incapable with zero ability. And conversely, vice versa. You can have someone who's smaller, who doesn't look like much, but they're an absolute killer. Let's see his opponent. So you guys know the backstory behind their beef. They, no, just, no. They, got, they got a Discord call, started dissing each other heavy. I heard, you know, family got brought family up. Family and, yeah, dissing deads. Like, dissing. Whoa, whoa, who dissed who's dead, though? Cuff him. Cuff him dissed his but dads? I think he dissed his dads. And he said, like, your girlfriend cheated on you with a, with a, with a black eye or something. <laughs> I mean, they, they both black. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So we got one lad who's quite big, who's stocky, who's got a little bit of body fat on him. He's very intimidating. Look at him standing in the center of the ring. I'm that guy. When I fight, I just see red, bro. I'm an absolute killer. And then we've got the other guy who looks similar height to the, the bad man in the centre of the ring. But very skinny, athletic, no glutes. Not that that means anything, but glutes can be a sign of power and athleticism. So, you know, skinny legs, skinny frame, very wiry. Who is going to win this fight? Then again, his glutes are all right, to be honest. No homo. Let's watch how this goes down. I'm in the wrong spot. What the f***ing spot are we Touch going blood. Go back to your corner. Here we go. Back to your corner. Back to your corner. Here we go. Three Guys, rounds, fellas. Listen to the referee. Three rounds. Please. Three listen. rounds. Five, Five seconds. Break, you break. Five, four, three, two, fight. Let's, let's go. Come on, cuff him. You got his elbow. Get money. His elbow's touching. Nice, Jeff. Why his elbow's touching? What is Cuff doing? What is, why his elbow's touching? Oh my. Oh shit. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, no. Wait, 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 Step in, 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 step Oh, damn. We have another Zeche situation on our hands. Zeche, if you're watching this, sorry, mate. I mean, in relation to the shoulder dislocation. Let's watch it back. I mean, there's so many funny things to pick up in this video. And also, for anyone who's going to be watching my sparring footage going, oh, you have no right to judge any fighters anymore because you clearly can't fight. Wait until you see the comeback. Trust me on that. Very confident in myself. But I'm not like MMA Guru, where on this channel, I critique professional fighters. I'll give my thoughts on the fights. I might say what my 
prediction is and what I believe the strengths and weaknesses are of professional fighters. But you will never see me on this channel sit here out of shape, haven't trained in... 18 months and talk crap about what a professional fighter should have done. That's why we talk about people like this, because there's actually stuff to be learned from this. For example, don't have your guards like this. <laughs> don't throw punches like that, like the Chinese cat. Right, so let's watch what happens again. We got Cuffums on the right, we got Snaps, or whatever his name is, on the left. Okay, they both come out. Cuffums has got the elbows touching. I'm not too sure what his logic was behind that guard. It's always funny when you see black Americans fight, because they kind of actually can fight, but they have the most crazy techniques you've ever seen. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Like, some of them will, like, be right back here. Then we've got Cuffums with this new technique. Some of these street fighting techniques might not be pretty, but sometimes they can be effective. Now, I don't know about this guard, though. Okay. You got so Cuffums comes in, okay, Snaps throws, what's his name? Snags, Snags throws the jab, Snags throws a few hooks, a bit off balance. Okay, and then there you go, Cuffums comes in with the windmills. Now, anytime you see someone punching like this, you know that they don't know what they're doing. Now, first off, the punch is coming from miles away. There's no hips in this, it's all arms. Obviously, he's throwing his body weight into it, but only because he's kind of running forwards. But punches like these, because they are so telegraphed, you see them coming from a mile off. So, he, Cuffums throws that punch, it kind of just slaps the shoulder of Snags. And then we watch the Chinese cat punch come in right now. You could actually call it the gate punch or the homo punch because you can't go like that hey 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 so instead of throwing bolos this guy's throwing homos so he throws that windmill chinese cat gay punch and then he kind of taps him on the head and then throws another <laughs> Oh, damn. That punch, man. Let's actually watch that again. So first off, the mistake the Cuffins makes here. Look where his body trajectory is going. He's moving towards the ropes here. So towards us, towards the screen. Snags is circling out to the right, which is good because it's moving away from Cuffins' power hand. Now, the problem here is the Cuffins hasn't got his feet underneath him. So his body is moving this way towards us. And then he tries to awkwardly throw a punch towards Snags, who's moving over that way. So Snags is moving over this way. Cuffums is moving this way. And Cuffums tries to throw a punch over at Snags there whilst he's... Woo! So just take a look at where Cuffums is moving here. So he's moving towards us right now. He has to adjust slightly by twisting his body. And he throws his arm. And I think that's where he gets the shoulder dislocation. Now, is it the right or the left shoulder? It looks like it's the left shoulder. So it's very strange the fact that Cuffums throws the right hand. But his left shoulder dislocates. This is coming from someone in myself who's had multiple shoulder dislocations. That's why I was speaking to Zerge. I was saying, Zerge, I can help you with your shoulder dislocation if you really need it. So let's watch again. So Cuffums throws the punches there. So it's the left hand. Maybe as he threw that punch there, that gay punch, it created some sort of damage and the shoulder might have been compromised on that punch. Then Cuffums does these two punches. He throws it on the right hand, but it's his left shoulder that pops out right there. Now, you've got to have some weak ass shoulders. If your left shoulder is popping out when you're throwing with your right hand, you need to get in the gym, my man. Now, this is what people are debating about. So obviously, you're in the middle of a fight. In the heat of the moment. You've been paid for this stream. I think someone said there was like 110,000 people watching live. Snags comes in and throws a shot at Cuffums. But the question is, did Snags acknowledge the Cuffums hurt his shoulder? Even still, you're meant to fight until the referee stops you. Situations like this have happened loads in professional fights. Where someone's shoulder gets dislocated or they have an injury. And then the opponent capitalises on that opportunity. Now, you can call it bad sportsmanship. And I'm not going to debate it on that. I can agree and fully understand that argument. It is a little bit bad sportsmanship. If I see my opponent has dislocated the shoulder, I know the fight's going to be called off and I'm going to be declared the winner anyway. I don't need to fully go in for the kill. Don't need to fully knock him out. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. I'm in my mid-30s. And maybe I would react differently if I was in this situation. If my opponent threw a punch and the shoulder got out of whack and I knew there was bonus money on the line for the knockout, then maybe I'd go for it. You don't know until you're in this position. But tell me, do you guys think that this punch here, the snags froze? <laughs> I mean, that was like a pair Perfect shot. Do you think it was called for? Now, here's the thing. Cuffums actually gets angry at that. And he actually shouts. He goes, Arr. Oh, shit. He takes his gloves off to go over there and actually have a real fight. What the fuck are y'all doing? 
And he gets punched again. <laughs> this Cuffins, I want to use him as a little bit of an example of someone who, you know, obviously appears like a tough guy. His persona, his attitude, just his whole demeanor, the way he is. He comes across like someone who's game, who wants to actually fight, who's going to batter you. But then when you actually take a look at this, he hasn't really got much ability. I mean, even when he takes his gloves off, he goes over there and doesn't actually do anything. I mean, he grabs Snags by that arms. <laughs> Does not. <laughs> and then Snags actually gets the punch in. So Cuffins takes his gloves off to go over and wrestle Snags. These boxing streaming events, they're just absolutely chaotic. Like, I'm all for it. It's kind of fun to watch. And I would 100% be up for taking part in these because I think each creator got paid something like 15 grand. But I take 15 grand to go in there and have a little bit of a glow glorified spa yeah i'll do that now even despite being out of shape 100 percent. and i think there was bonus money on the line as well because it makes sense for aiden ross if he gives people a bonus incentive and says look i'll give you an extra 15 grand or 20 grand if you get a knockout he's going to get more donations on his live stream more viewers on his live stream he's going to get more money from the sponsor you're not allowed to say their name because that's why steve will do it got banned but yet they're going to get more money from the sponsors so it kind of makes sense to basically have a street fight with gloves on because you can decide guys it as professional fighting or professional sparring and it, it's all safe because there's headgear and gloves but these street fights sparring streams i don't know what what you think about it that being said i would 100 still get involved in one but i definitely want to get back in shape first and lads and ladies make sure you go and check out my dubai vlog because i mainly do reaction based content when i do in real life content it's not going to get shown as much in the feed so people are less likely to see when i do post it i'm going to be documenting my own journey to getting back in shape getting rid of this belly but also getting to the point where I can get a fight booked, whether it be kickboxing, boxing, or MMA. I don't care. I just want a goal to shoot for. I guess I've just highly underestimated how much I've regressed these last 18 months. But it's good motivation. I'm looking forward to the journey back. I appreciate all the love and support. I also somewhat appreciate the hate and negativity because it only drives me to be even better. Okay, nice one, lads and ladies. Make sure you like this video. And I'll see you all on the next one.